The Michigan Science Center, formerly the Detroit Science Center, is located in Midtown Detroit, just steps away from the Detroit Institute of Arts, the Detroit Public Library, and the Wright Museum of African American History. It reopened as the Michigan Science Center in 2012, and it is a must-see place. Here is a nice money-saving tip. If you are a Bank of America cardholder, you can get free general admission on the first full weekend of every month through this Museums on Us program. If you go on the weekend, go early, otherwise it could get really crowded. Here's what the inside of the Michigan Science Center looks like. Green light! Let's drive along the road take a right, and now we're going to go across the Mackinac Bridge. Are we going to the Upper Peninsula? Let's see. Let's take a look at the science stage. Check out some of their live interactive shows for some fun science demonstrations with live stage performers. Like the Kaboomistry demonstration. Here we're going through the steel ladle. This is part of the museum which teaches kids all about roads, bridges, and tunnels, including how they're made and what they're constructed from. This is a really fun part of the museum. I think it's all ready to go. Okay. The other side of the museum is dedicated to the wonders of the universe, including human space travel, rocket technology, a tour of the galaxy, and more. This is a really cool exhibit showcasing a real re-entry capsule used by NASA to train astronauts. that comes out of the top usually. Here's something I think I remember from my own visits to the museum as a child. It is a giant kaleidoscope with connects at the end, which rotate and form different shapes as you turn the barrel. That's the back of the kaleidoscope. That's making the pictures you see inside the... 
See that electrode at the center of the plasma ball? It's emitting a high frequency, high voltage current. And when you touch the glass, that current travels through you. I've heard that if you touch the current long enough, your hair will start to stand on end. And I've even heard that some people can power a light bulb in their hand. You'll have to try it. Here's something we call Jacob's Lamp, wow, look how the a high voltage climbing arc of electricity. Bi-wheel is a heavy wheel Hi. you can use to generate and store energy, which can be used to help machines work know. at an even speed. First used by potters thousands of years ago, flywheels eventually helped power steam engines and other machines after the Industrial Revolution. Almost time to go home. Hopefully they can come back soon and show you the rest of the museum we didn't get to see today. Here are some other exhibits in the museum that you can explore. Here are some other areas of the museum you can explore.